Is it true that your nickname on the set was Missy? Missy, yes, because there were the two Melissas, and it was a little bit confusing. So I said I would go to Missy. My, my, that was easy for me because my uh, name being Melissa as a toddler and a baby, I couldn't say Melissa. I could say Missa. So then Missa shortened to Miss, and that's what everybody called, you know, my kids go to the pediatrician when they were little, and the pediatrician would say, what does mommy call daddy, and what does daddy call mommy? And they'd say, miss, you know? And so it, Missy was the, the easy way of distinguishing between the two of us. You preferred to be called Missy than Half Pint? Yes, I did. <laughs> I did, actually. How would you describe Mary's character? I think Mary was really ultimately, you know, uh, her mother's daughter. You know, she took after her mother and she wanted to be just like her mother. And her mother at some point, I believe, had been a school teacher. And, uh, and she was so much more like her. She wasn't the tomboy that Melissa Gilbert was, uh, you know, taking after Michael's side, basically. Uh, and and she emulated her 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 mother. You know, she she wanted to do well and and be like her mother. Let's remember some famous moments from Little House. In the last scene of the first episode, you and Laura rushed to help Pa after he fell down. Right, and he had his broken ribs and all that. Yes. Yeah. Soon followed by the townspeople. It was smart at that time to bring them in and show them in that light, where then you know that those are the good guys all the way through, and that people do help each other in, in, in those times when people really do need help. Uh, their, their crop goes bad and they need you know, someone to come in and help them, that, that, that there will be people there to, to help. And it's set up right away who, who all the, the nice guys were and who the, the bad guys were, you know. Speaking of bad guys, do you remember your meeting with bad girl Nellie in Country Girls? Country Girls. And the blue dresses Caroline made for you? Right, right. She makes them for us because she knows our clothes are, and she, are, are, are too short and don't fit. And, and we're teased about that, Country Girls. Nellie Olson always says, oh, it's the Country Girls and all that. Yeah. Um, it, it was interesting working with Allison, who played Nellie, because she was so shy. She couldn't look at you and deliver her lines. The director, uh, Bill Claxton, on that show, had a terrible time, you know, getting her to actually look and, and, and say her lines. And, and, and she grew, you know, she, she got it eventually. She, she, but she was just so shy and so scared. I, mainly, maybe she wasn't so shy. It was just she was so scared. She was petrified, I think. Uh, but, uh, but she, you know, she became the little kid you love to hate. So she did a great job with it, you know. Do you remember Johnny Johnson? Yes, yes. Yeah, Mitch Vogel. Uh, my mother remembered him better than I did because I guess he was at one point on Bonanza as well. Um, and uh, and she, she was very excited. Oh, cute, Mitch Vogel. You get to work with Mitch Vogel. And, uh, and he was very nice. And, uh, uh, and it was a fun, a fun show, for, very fun show for me. Now, was Mr. Edwards a good babysitter? <laughs> well, that was a fun show. Uh, when he came, he was a very serious actor, and, you know, and it's funny to work with people like that that, that are so serious and uh, uh, professional about, uh, about the work, but yet are so zany and can come up with such goofy, funny things that he did. Uh, uh, so it, it made it even more fun, and you never really knew what he'd do next. Um, and we had lots of fun with it. I mean, we were able to kind of go with it and it, it made it a, a, a lighter kind of fun show for us. She's too little. She'll fall and the off. memorable scene with Any Carrie on the roof. She yes, that's right. The little, the little girl goes up on the roof and he nails her dress to the roof so she won't fall. Yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> the award 
where you wanted to win a dictionary was one of the most important episodes of season one. Did you enjoy doing that episode? I loved it, yeah. I think that was my first episode that was mine, that I could really, it was difficult for me because they didn't really know how deep I was as an actress, how much I could do, because they never really gave me anything to do. And I think as I won over their confidence, they realized I had a lot more to me that could, could, yeah, could no. come out. So they wrote that, right and, uh, uh, and I was extremely way. happy with it. You're and I good. felt like I did a very good job, and I think they loved it. And it, and it was true to the character, how, much she, how, how important her studying was to her, and, and that she really wanted to win this. And, and then all the calamity you know, situations that happened, unfortunately, during it. But it, uh, it, it turned out very well, and I was, I was quite happy with it. And the message was also interesting. How many children would dream to get a dictionary nowadays? Yes, I mean, I think they wanted to show that things that are taken for granted, you know, a, a, with most children, you know, they, they have a dictionary. They, you know, they, and they don't particularly care that much about school, necessarily. Uh, they, they, they really wanted to show that, the, that in these times, Kids who did want to become teachers or, or move on and, and uh, you know, something like that for them who could never afford it was, was like getting, you know, an iPod now, you know. I mean, it was just, it was that, it was, it was that important to them. And, and it, makes, it makes kids, even some kids that watch it now, you know, look back and say, and, and that's the interesting part of it, you know, look back and say, look at how hard life was then. You know, look at what they had to do, look at the washing, look at the, you know, and things that are so taken for granted. That was part of Michael Lannan's, you know, philosophy, I think, that, you know, things that we take so much for granted were, were, were just so appreciated uh, at that time.